Yeah, so in this intermission, I'm just going to show a few uh, things that I might not have shown in the original video. You might have noticed that these walls are rather smooth compared to the one on the other side. And um, here it is quite possible to have several um, 3D uh, <coughs> floors on the same uh, in the same area. I will uh, show you in a minute yeah this took me about an hour and a half to complete it's not hard to uh, test some stuff that I haven't used in a while but uh, Maybe there should have been a sky on top, but we'll get to that. Ah, demon. Yeah. So I will see you shortly. Right. As you can see, the left uh, stair stairwell is much smoother than the right one. That's because we have more vertex points, thus making it um, yeah well. As you can see, um, I le left this out on purpose so I can show you how we do that because I didn't. So let's remove, remove, I say. I am going to get this to work. Even if I have to kill myself. Uh, no, I won't do that. <laughs> but still. Stuff before. Either it's me or the um, or the um, stair builder can be a bit finicky, but now we have perfectly symmetrical staircase on both sides. Right, I have to cut some of this. <laughs> I've failed a couple of times because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I forgot I failed 
so many times with uh, stair builder then I've cut it out but I failed uh, three times to make this go the right way before I managed to fix it yeah I forgot another thing I was going to show you um, I've already shown you that we can align um, textures along one axis as it were uh, really I forgot right um, there you are yeah, but with stairs we face a different problem because each step shifts the um, um, texture by a bit especially when uh, yeah we we can we can uh, well it's unpegged already uh, that helps but it would be a hassle to go up and down and um, change, ev especially now with all the small sectors going all the way up. But we have A aligns them vertically, Shift A. We'll line them ag against the current uh, the current um, height of texture. So if I I want this to be the, all those to be the same height as this one. Press Shift A, <laughs> Control A, and they all get aligned all the way up. And they will align with everything with the same texture until they find something with a different. And since all the, these are the same, they went all the way around back to here. But they will stop here because that's a different texture. Although... This is supposed to be this one. Apart from that, <laughs> that works. All right, back to the previ previously recorded message, as it were. <laughs> Here's a tip for you. <laughs> I'm not sure. If anyone else has realized this, but the staircase builder is actually good for more than actually making stairs. Yeah, if everyone know the know this, then well, I'm gonna show it to you anyway. We will do as we normally do. Only we will. Press this, obviously. Make a stair. Doesn't really matter. But don't raise the stairs at all. Go in. Make your curve. Inside four is more than enough, I guess. And presto, <laughs> we have a curved corridor. <laughs> I I suppose you can even. Uh, 
go in and well, that wasn't what I had in mind. Line. Well, it deletes anyway, but delete all the lines in the sector. Make it turn back into a sector. And you have a curved corridor. And of course you can then make this like a straight corridor. Even add, you can do all you want. Let's move this, press E when you have selected to make this, makes moving a bit easier. You won't accidentally edit or change it, but never mind. Uh, select copy paste into corner right click turn move like right, this does next what did you lock oh well I guess doesn't matter And you have a sinus corridor. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Anyway, yeah, you don't you don't have to raise the steps, so uh, this is fun. Now we can go back to our normally scheduled program. Um, good deal so far. Yeah, uh, as for um, platforms, it's pretty much as I showed you in uh, the tutorial video about uh, 3D platforms. It's just um, a more advanced version. This is an open platform. You could have walls, uh, much, pretty much anything you just have to um, put the um, have to put um, put these at different heights and tag the relevant uh, sectors with the number they have so you will see that um, this is to tag one. Well, that's to tag one actually, but since they're on top of each other, we can't see them. But there are three different tag numbers. This one is one. No. Sector tag. I'm oh, sorry, this is only one sector, obviously. Pardon me. But uh, these are different heights, so they're uh, therefore. This is actually fairly easy compared to um, the one I made in the previous video about 3D floors. So it looks. Yeah, I, I had to do some maths. I hate maths to uh, to just um, make the length between the same. Uh, you really you can eyeball it, but um, but uh, all of this is. Um, based on uh, the different lengths of uh, things. Again, I feel that textures are based on a, f a certain length, usually 128, so uh, grid is based around that, so uh, 
Well, I, uh, as I said, you can um, alter textures, but um, or, or alter their. Um, Offset and uh, scaling, but I feel they look best if they have their origin original um, original um, texture size. So uh, so tailor your room with. Um, With a thought towards that, yeah. yeah. This is this wasn't supposed to be a very long video, so <laughs> I'll uh, end it here. Uh, so this was your host, the lazy gamer, logging off. Bye, guys. <laughs>